Hello and welcome to the sixth tutorial in the Cocos Code IDE series. In this part we're going to be looking at running a project on Android. This tutorial assumes you have set up and generated a project. To run it on an Android device you will obviously need an Android device but you can use a Windows machine or a Mac. So let's go ahead and open up Cocos Code IDE. To actually run on an Android it's really simple, you don't have to do anything fancy. So a couple of things we've got to do. Okay, so I've got a project right here. And what you want to do is go to your debug configuration, which is this little settings icon here with a wrench and a screwdriver. Click that. From here you want to select Android ADB mode. Click apply and there are two forms of running your project. There's the first one which is Android Debug, it supports breakpoints but it has lower performance and then there's Android Run, there's no breakpoint support but it has higher performance. So this is great if you're implementing new features, you want to test them out with breakpoints, this is great when you're confident that it's working and you just want to see its raw performance. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and add a breakpoint so you can see the difference between them. If you go to app.js, so a breakpoint there, yeah, here will be fine. And now what we're going to do, if we click this button, it's going to record my Android device. There we go. It has now started the application. The reason it hasn't gone any further is because of what is on the Cocos Code IDE and it's saying this kind of launch is configured to open the debug perspective when it suspends so basically could be set a breakpoint so if we click yes it'll open up our debug perspective from here we can check like the variable data the, the state of different um, stuff so we're just going to go back to javascript and what we're going to do now is actually click this icon which is the android run and we're going to show you what happens when we click this As you can see, the application has run now, even though there is a breakpoint right here. So that is the difference between the Android debug and the Android run mode. The next tutorial will cover you running your project on an iOS simulator. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links, I mean, there's no link, sorry. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.